So these are the materials you'll need for breaking in your motors. Um, we'll start with a glass jar. Right here is a small glass jar or whatever container you could use. And a switch. And a two battery switch. Some jumper cables. We call this jumper cables. And your CRC electronic cleaner. Your comb drops or oil. And your motors, of course. And cover your area. We just rug and you want to make sure we cover the things you don't want to get messy because these things will get messy. So we start with water. Um, I'm using like just a mineral water or faucet water should be okay too. And also don't forget your batteries because um, that's what we're going to use in this one. We don't use the power supply, we just use regular batteries. So we put the batteries in and we open our motor. We use the 2020 on this one since 2020 wasn't a good year. But yeah, we'll use this one and this one. So let me open it. And there you go. Um, let's focus on that. Let's show you 2020 right there. After that, you want to connect your leads. Um, yeah, the black one is usually positive first. Well, I usually run positive to positive and then I switch to positive to negative. But if you look at your motor, there's like a small plus sign right there. I don't know if you could tell, but yeah. So I put the positive in there first, the black one. And you go from there. So for the sake of the video, I fast forward it, but this is pretty much after five minutes, I start putting some comb drops or machine oil, whichever oil you prepare to use, you could use pretty much. But like, I find the comb drops work better, but machine oil works fine too. And you wanna run it again. And the water will turn cloudy like that because oil and water doesn't really mix that mix well but you can see some a little bit of carbon build up already but not as much not yet pretty much but like later you'll see halfway I start doing this so you can see I'm kind of like swirling it around the water that's um, to help out some of the stuff and I start spraying and adding some oil in it um, you could actually tell the difference in the sound from when you started running it until later on <clears throat> it gets quieter so you could know that those um, comms are are getting in um, they're shaving off basically they're getting to the shape of the armature which is round minutes to turn it off I turn it off and then I'm gonna start cleaning it just spray it from the end bell cap where there's the holes 
just spray it with the CRC electronic parts cleaner. And you can see the like there's the carbon build up already, like the water gets dirtier. And then I put more oil on it. Usually I let it dry a little bit or but this one this cleaner is like quick drying so should be good enough. Oil it up and the dirt's be coming out right now. Just shake it like that and then I did the plif. I do negative to positive this time. And run it for on this one I run it for like five minutes. And then I clean it and then five minutes again. At this point you're doing a reverse so it's really up to you what you want to do but like it's pretty much just the same process like this one you can swirl it around like that. I swirl it around because um, it helps the uh, all those comb parts that's been shaving off to come out and also put some lube if it's like sounds like it's kind of grinding. You could, you could tell if it's grinding then you could put more oil in it. But usually the oil floats in the top of the water, so that's why I swirl it. So it helps uh, all those build up to come out from the holes. Like the air bubbles help it help it push out basically. And then you could run this for as long as you want, like let's say ten minutes, ten minutes, fifteen minutes. You could bump up the minutes and too hot to like more than five minutes but usually i run it 20 minutes each and then after that i just clean it i clean it with the crc at this point you want to push out all that shavings all that carbon build up your water will be dirty So at this point, after you clean it and dry it out, I mean, you don't worry about drying it from the inside, but the outside, you put the oil after. You could use whatever oil you want to use. I use comb drops and machine oil, like the Singer brand for sewing machines. And once you put the oil, it would come out. And the oil usually comes out clean, but if it comes out dirty, just spray it more with the with the CRC cleaner. I just add more oil because sometimes it dries up when you don't use it. And that's pretty much it. It's done.